Ahead of August 1 planned nationwide protests against hunger and end of bad governance in the country, the Kaduna State Police Command says no group or individual has informed them of any planned protests, either by written or verbal communication. The State Commissioner of Police stated this at a stakeholders' engagement town hall meeting in light of the planned nationwide protests. This high-level dialogue organized by the Kaduna State Government provided a platform for stakeholders to address fundamental issues surrounding the planned national protest. The town hall engagement brought together security agencies, traditional and religious leaders, trade and student unions, people with disabilities, women leaders, among other groups. The discussions focused on the planned national protest and its consequences for peace, national security and development of the country. Kaduna State Governor Obasani explained that most of the crises in the state over the past 50 years have resulted from protests with many killed. He appealed to youths to refrain from actions that could destabilize the state. We are in such moment. That is why it is important that we have this dialogue today. At this time, our peace and stability are fundamental. The present times demand deep and sound reasoning, high sense of patriotism and sacrifice for the collective good. It is therefore imperative on us to toe the path of wisdom and focus on the brighter future that is in sight. Kaduna State Police Commissioner Ali Dabigi highlighted procedures for any protest, noting that his office his office is yet to receive notice of protest from any group or individual. Of this protest come about, we have been listening to people, and uh, nobody has come to my office with such an issue, like uh, stated by His Excellency. Even in this gathering, uh, you could see that he beckoned on me, and I still confirm to him that up to this moment I'm speaking, nobody. Both religious and traditional leaders, as well as labor unions and other groups, have said no to protests organized by faceless individuals, stressing the negative impact of hijacking the protests. We have, we have started a journey into progress. For those of us who come from Southern Kaduna, in the past month, we were wailing and crying about deaths and kids. In the last eight months, whether we say it or we refuse to say it, at least there is a change. Because there is a change, if we allow this protest to, come, to, go, to go on among us, criminals will hide under this protest and take us back to that era. I will advise the government not to look at them as enemies, but let us try and see how we can avoid infiltration by these undesirable elements. The government can do it in many instances. So, whether I call on everybody not to protest, it's not the right way, especially when you have a listening government, a government which is ready to address people, a government which is ready to sit down in a town hall. This government should be given chance. So let me be clear, we are not part of this national protest. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.